what is the redox reaction? So basically redox is the reaction which occur by movement of electron. So what is the movement of electron? If we have A and we have B, and if electron move from A to B, so if electron move from A to B, then it is called, this reaction is redox reaction. Clear? So what is redox reaction? The reaction which occur because of movement of electron. Clear? For example, for example, if we have sodium plus Cl2 will form 2NaCl, so tell me it is redox reaction or not? So it is redox reaction or not? Why redox reaction? So it is redox reaction because it is redox reaction because see here sodium has what is the oxygen state? Sodium has zero oxygen state because it is alone. It has also zero oxygen state because it is combined with same atom. Now in NaCl. In NaCl, we know that Na has plus 1, while Cl has minus 1. So, sodium has plus 1 and Cl has minus 1. Yes or no? Yes. So, sodium has plus 1 and Cl has minus 1. Now, you tell me, how plus will come? So movement of electron occur from sodium to chlorine. So in this process, sodium gives the electron to chlorine. So if in any reaction, movement of <coughs> electron occur, so that reaction is called redox reaction. Clear? Give me the other example. If we have Na plus plus Cl minus it form NaCl. Tell me it is redox reaction or not. Yes. So 99 percent people will say it is redox reaction. But it is not the redox reaction. So it is not redox reaction. Why? Because during this reaction there is no movement of electrons. So if there is no movement of electron, it means no redox reaction. So it has plus charge in this compound, it has also plus charge, it has also minus charge. So there is no movement of electron. If there is a movement of electron, the atom which gain the electrons is reduced and which lose the electron oxidize clear so there are two process of redox reaction one is called oxidation and other is called reduction clear so write down oxidation so loss of electrons are called oxidation write down loss of electrons is called oxidation for example, for example, if we have sodium and it will form Na plus plus one electron. So see here, what is the oxygen state of sodium? So oxygen state of sodium is zero while it has plus 1. 
So loss of electron is called oxidation and there is loss of one electron. Yes or no? So how we identify there is a loss of electron or not? So let us take other example. If we have, if we have, yes, zinc will form Zn2 plus plus 2 electron. So see the oxygen state here. It has 0, it has plus 2 and the loss of 2 electron. So it means that loss of electron is called oxidation. Therefore, the both reaction is oxidation. So this is also oxidation. Oxidation. And it is also oxidation. Yes or no? Now, in a chemical reaction, there is no, in a balanced net chemical reaction, that is net redox reaction, there is no electron. So how we identify it is oxidation or reduction? So see here, 0 to plus 1, 0 to plus 2. So during the oxidation, oxidation number increases. So during the oxidation, oxidation number will oxidation number will increase oxidation number will increase during the reduction sorry during the oxidation oxidation number will increase it means that for a given in a given reaction you have to identify only oxidation number if oxidation number increase it means this process is oxidation if oxidation number decrease reduction. it will be reduction clear so other example is we have so2 which will form so4 2 minus plus 2 electron so identify the oxygen state here it has plus 4 not plus 2 why because oxygen has minus oxygen has minus 2 and here is 2 oxygen you have to multiply 2 which is minus 4 must be equal to 4 so this must be also equal to plus 4 so this is plus 4 yes or no here find out so oxygen has minus 2 4 oxygen it means minus 8 and net charge will be equal to minus 2 here must be plus 6 it means sulfur has plus from this to this oxidation number increases and there is also loss of electron so either you identify it by loss of electron or if oxidation number increase therefore this process is called this process is called oxidation reduction So, what is the reduction? Yeah, so write down. Gain of electrons. Gain of electrons is called reduction. For example, for example, if we have Cl2 it will take two electron form two Cl minus and see here what is the oxidation state of chlorine zero what is the oxidation state of Cl minus one so this is the gain of electron therefore it is called reduction you can say also 
during the reduction oxidation number decrease so here 0 to minus 1 clear other example take the other example O2 take 4 electron and form 2 O2 minus so what the oxygen state here 0 it has minus 2 so it is also see here gain of electrons therefore it is called reduction so this is also reduction and this is also reduction and uh, here oxidation number decreases here also oxidation number decreases it means that if oxidation number decreases if oxidation number decreases it means it is called reduction so if oxidation number decreases it is called reduction clear mno4 minus and it will form mn2 plus so tell me it is oxidation or reduction and other example cr2o7 2 minus it will form cr3 plus so you have to tell me both are oxidation or reduction so find the oxidation number you know that oxygen has minus 2 and how many 4 which is equal to minus so minus 8 must be equal to minus 1 it means must be plus 7 and here plus 2 so from mno4 to mno2 oxidation number decreases yes or no it has plus 7 and it has plus 2 there is no oxidus, oxygen so no need to check for the oxygen so here mn has plus 7 and here plus 2 it means oxidation number decreases so if oxidation number decreases this process is reduction therefore this is reduction so how many loss of electron so plus 7 to plus 2 how many loss or gain gain of electron not loss of electron so from plus 7 to plus 2 how many electrons are required five electron you have to add five electron and for this find out the oxygen of chrom chromium Three. so you know that oxygen has minus 2 how many here 7 that is minus 14 equal to minus 2 and here 2 chromium so one has must be 6 6 no yes so chromium must has plus 6 into 2 which will equal to 12 12 minus 14 equal to minus 2 I can assume this is x and solve it so plus 6 and here chromium has plus 3 so during this process tell me oxidation number decreases if oxidation number decreases it means it is reduction and from plus 6 to plus 3 how many electrons are required for one atom 3 how many atom here two. Two. 2 it means 6 electrons are required and you have to balance like this so identify the identify the oxidation process and reduction process so question is zinc solid copper 2 plus aqueous will form zinc 2 plus aqueous copper solid so yeah, this is the redox reaction identify the oxidation process and reduction process yes very good so in this process see here zinc has zinc has zero oxygen state 
and here it has plus 2 it means aqueous medium aqueous AQ means aqueous. So, see here, from 0 to plus rho, oxidation number increases or decreases? So, from 0 to plus 2, oxidation number, oxidation number increases. From 0 to plus 2, oxidation number increases, it means oxidation and reduction. oxidation and uh, see here uh, it has plus 2 and it has 0 so during this process oxidation number oxidation number decreases plus 2 to plus 2 to 0 therefore it is called yes this is called a reduction. Okay. So, what is the process? First, identify the oxidation number. So, we know that in this oxygen has minus 2 into 4, that is minus 8, must be equal to minus 1. So, therefore, magnesium must have plus, plus 7. So, it has plus 7. Now, it has plus 2, it has also plus 2, it has plus 3. So, say, first check the magnets. So, plus 7 to plus 7 to plus 2. So, oxidation number increases or decreases? Increases. Oxidation number decreases. It means? Good. So, from MnO4 to Mn2 plus, oxidation number decreases. It means this process is reduction. And see here, for iron, 2 plus to 3 plus, oxidation number, oxidation number increases. It means? This process is oxidation. Yes.